All right, here we go. 5154 geometry quiz review. Let's get right after it. So number one says DC is a perpendicular bisector. So that means it bisected the side and it's perpendicular at 90 degrees, which should give me some information. So let me just kind of write what I know. So 12 and 12. Uh, if this is 90 and this is 53, this is going to be 37. And then these two triangles should be congruent. Um, 37. So let's see what we can answer. DB is 12. The value of X, well, I know that this side equals this side because of the perpendicular bisector theorem. So 3x minus 4 has to equal 5x minus 16. Uh, subtract the 3x, add the 16. Looks like x equals 6. Find the measure of DAC. Well, DAC is right here, so that's 37 degrees. And find the length of DC. And that ends up being a leg of a right triangle. Um, so let's just focus on, let's say, this right triangle right here. We can find out the hypotenuse by plugging that 6 in. So 3 times 6 is 18. Take away 4 is 14. Um, so we know the hypotenuse. We know a leg. We are missing this leg here in the center. So we're going to do leg squared plus the other leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So DC squared plus 144 equals 196, which means DC squared is 52. Square root both sides. That's going to give us an answer of like 7.2-ish, I think, somewhere in that neighborhood, roughly. All right. Let's keep on going. Next batch, BD is an angle bisector. So BD is an angle bisector. So we know that this angle got split. Um, this distance here from the line is 90, and it's equal because that was the angle bisector theorem. So I know that this is 3. Uh, since this is 90 and that's 68, I can get a couple 22s in here. So, and this has to be 68. So let's see what we can answer. DF. DF is 3. <clears throat> BD, well, that's going to be a Pythagorean theorem. And BD is a hypotenuse. We got a leg of 3. We have a leg of 11 because it's got to match that 11. So we have a 311. I don't know the hypotenuse. So 3 squared plus 11 squared equals BD squared, so that's 9 and 121, so that's 130 is BD squared, square root of both sides, so the answer is a square root of 30. Not sure exactly what decimal that is, but I'll let you do that on your calculator. The measure of ABC, well, ABC is this giant angle, so I'm going to add those two together. 22 and 22 would be 44 degrees. All right, keep on going. 8 through 12, it says DEF is a mid-segment triangle. So mid-segment triangle means you find all the mid-segments and then you connect them together. So I know that this piece equals that piece, this piece equals this piece, and this piece equals this piece. Now another fact is that it's always parallel to the side uh, to one side of the triangle. Um, so we can kind of use that fact as well. That'll hook us up with some angles and stuff. So find A to B. Well, so when I look at this little mid-segment, it should be ex parallel and exactly half to this person. So 16 is half of 32, because each of these two are going to be 16. Um, so AB is 32. And if I go over, let's call this the red side. If the red side is 36, that should make each of these 18, and it should make this piece parallel and half. So that's 18, which I don't see that one on there. Probably need it eventually. Uh, find the measure of angle C. Well, if you look at the entire triangle, 
we have a 46 and we have a 112 so that is 158 and if we subtract that from 180 that leaves us 22 degrees left over here in that little angle C so 22 degrees set up an equation and solve for F well or X I mean we have a mid segment and we have a full side and we know that the mid segment is half of the side so a way to set this up is to go two times the mid segment should equal his parallel side so two mid segments should equal this whole side here so that gives me 4x plus 6 when I distribute and when I minus 4x's and I add 3 looks like I got x equals 9 find the perimeter of DEF well DEF is this little fella right inside here I have two sides now that I know what x is I can put 9 in there 2 times 9 is 18 plus 3 is 21 so I gotta add those guys together 21 plus 18 plus 16 is 39 49 55 I believe hopefully I'm doing my math right and looks like we have another angle C here which we already did right there so we don't need to redo it again keep on going perpendicular bisectors so ED is one so this is perpendicular and it bisects and DF is perpendicular and it bisects but it might be different so I'll put two hash marks so if BF is 12 that means that FC has to be 12 and point D so this is that magic special point that D is where where the perpendiculars bisect bisectors meet it's called the circumcenter the big thing to know about circumcenter is he should be equal distance from the vertices from the corners so I should have this distance this distance and that distance should all be equal because of he's a circumcenter um, so I think that'll help me with 16 which of the following must be true um, I think it is this one right here DB has to equal DA those are the red lines I have up there find the measure of AED well we've already got that that's chilling right here at 90 all right still moving medians so medians basically connect corners with midpoints so this is F's a midpoint D is in the middle and this one is in the middle and so let's put on our things here AF is 12 which means this side's 12 which means the whole thing is 24 so that gives me that if FG is 5 so now we get into this special thing about this point right here which is called the centroid and it is the center of gravity might as well knock that out but there's this two-thirds relationship one-third two-thirds so basically if this piece is five the other part of the median is double that it's ten so it should be a one-third two-third relationship um, so that would make GC worth ten if BE is 18 so this entire piece is 18 and we know there's a two to one relationship here so what you want to do is you want to divide that by 3 which will give me 6 so that will give me the small side is 6 and if I double it I get 12 and now they add up to 18 they have the, the one third to two third relationship so that divide by 3 move is, is really slick that's what you need there so this is 12 keep on going uh, all segments are altitudes so let's just kind of knock that out altitude goes from the corner to the other side at 90 degrees 
at 90 degrees and at 90 degrees. It's pretty weak. It doesn't really give you a lot of good information. Um, but that point is called the orthocenter. And find the measure of, oh, if the measure of angle FAD is 43 degrees, find ACF. ACF. So ACF is this big angle down here. So I think if we focus on this big triangle, we have a 90, a 43, which is going to make that dude 47. So 47 degrees. If AB is 13, all right, AB is 13, and BF is 5, find AF. Well, AF is this leg right here. So if I kind of look at that little right triangle, we know the hypotenuse, we know the leg, and we're missing AF over here. So leg squared plus leg squared, hypotenuse squared. I know this is a Pythagorean triple. Um, I already know that AF is going to come out to be 12. Very few of them come out to not be a decimal, but that's one of them. 5, 12, 13. You know, some that you might want to remember. 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triple. His big brother, 6, 8, 10. His triple big brother. So those all kind of stem from the same one. And then there's a 5, 12, 13 that make this combination true that doesn't end up being decimals. Using the information from number 24, if FC is 15, so FC is this little side over here, find the area of ABC. So to find the area of a triangle, it's 1 half base times height. And height is really just another easier name than altitude, but I might choose to do this. I'm going to look at this whole triangle, and right now I know this base down here. This base at the bottom is 5 plus 15, so the base is, or is 20, and the height, which is right there, okay, which we just found, the height's 12, so 1 half of 20 times 12. Well, half of 20 is 10, and 10 times 12 is 120. So there's your answer for area. All right. And then number 26, the big dog. Find the values that make the segment a mid-segment. Well, to be a mid-segment, we need to double the mid and make that equal the bottom. So we distribute. And I'm like, oh crap, we got a quadratic. We can't use normal algebra. We need to set it equal to zero. So I need to minus this to get it to the other side. I need to add that. So minus this, add that. So we get x squared minus 12n plus 35. Now we play the factor game. Factor game says, how can we get 35? Well, we can do 1 times 35 or 5 times 7. Now we got to do it right because we need to add to get negative 12. So we need to add somehow to get a negative 12. Well, I think if we do two negatives, It'll times together to be positive 35. It'll add together to be that. So x minus 5, x minus 7. We use our zero product property. So it looks like x could be 5 and x can be 7. So those are your two answers for number 26. Hopefully this gets you ready for the review and things will go smooth for you. See you.